Hey everyone, it's Buddy here with TBM Productions and also host of the DJ Roundtable. If you haven't done so already, do me a favor before we go any further. Tell a friend about the channel. That'd be really cool. Get them to subscribe to this channel. Also, have them watch the DJ Roundtable, hopefully, uh, and ask questions. And one other thing also I want you guys to do is any critiques, criticism, comments, tomfoolery, anything like that, please put it down below. Click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, I appreciate you guys for being here. One of the things I've been doing and I've done for quite a while is been doing on Twitch. And I do the DJ Roundtable on Twitch, but the other thing I do is DJ on Twitch. But also, I'm a wedding DJ, so I deal with primary weddings. And one of the things is like cocktail hour. I am not the DJ who puts on Spotify playlist or some other preset playlist and looks at it as a blow off time. I like to actually mix and DJ. And a lot of the weddings we do are multiple setups. So you have your main room setup, you have your ceremony setup, and quite a few of them, the um, cocktail hour is in a separate room or a separate area away from, it could be on a terrace, it could be uh, another room, it could be another area, another tent. Uh, it's usually away from the main room. And because of that, usually I try to bring in a small controller. So one of the things I use for a while, and this is I DJ with, has been, and I do like, is the Starlight controller right here from Hercules. Nice, simple, easy little controller. I've been doing this for uh, here uh, in the office uh, for uh, with Virtual DJ on this computer here uh, for Twitch. But also I've used this in the field uh, probably uh, at least a dozen times for cocktail hour uh, over the time I've had it. And I like to have backup gear. Now, I have my primary, which I love, is my S, my um, XZ2. I mean, not XZ2. My XZ. <laughs> I'm getting my controller screwed up here. My XZ. The XZ is a great controller for Pioneer. I love it because it has two separate microphone uh, controls on it, two separate microphone EQs, two separate microphone switches, so I can turn each one off independently. Uh, the other nice thing, if my computer ever went down, and my backup computer went down, and everything else went down, I could take a thumb drive, plug it into the top of the uh, unit, and actually still DJ. It, it will run thumb drives uh, by itself, just like my CDJs will. So that's a great thing about having the, um, a little dust here from the box, um, the great thing about having the XZ. Now I do have an SX2, uh, that is, was my primary and now my backup uh, unit, and I still have my CDJ, my 900s, and my 900 mixer. Uh, that right there, that, that set's probably 10, 11 years old. And I still, I have it. I have it in the, in the coffin case. It's in storage, so I'm not using it right now. Uh, but I, I love that. But I don't want to have to carry an, um, an SX2 with a case and everything that around um, because the fact that if I know I need to ha you have it, I, I can use it without a problem. But I want to have some compact for cocktail, basically a controller and a uh, laptop. And oh, this controller, it has headphone jacks out. It's not RCA. It's not anything crazy. It's a, uh, you know, 3.5 millimeter or it's a uh, one eighth, whichever way you want to look at. It. As here in the United States, I would say one eighth. But the nice thing about it is that I ordered a second one, which I'm going to do on unboxing here that I got from Sweetwater. So uh, let's get to the unboxing here of it. All right, so here's my box here. Um, again, a little bit uh, knocked around a little bit uh, just from shipping. But uh, Sweetwater, which is where I got this from, 
And uh, my Sweetwater rep is awesome. Christian Good. So if you're looking for a Sweetwater stuff, talk to Christian. Tell him you heard it from me. Uh, there's other places that carry this as well. Um, I would definitely talk to NFLX Pros. I would definitely talk to a few others. Uh, I just happen to do a lot with Sweetwater uh, because I, I just happen to do so. Uh, Sweetwater, always awesome for packing. Uh, they also give you a nice little candy. Uh, one of the things I like so much is these. You can see the green little candies. That's actually uh, Key Lime Pie, which is one of my favorite things in the world. And I actually found them on Amazon and ordered them. Um, ordered them from Amazon. If you hear my dog yelling, I, I apologize. Uh, they're doing some little construction across the way on the sidewalk. And uh, <laughs> they uh, are making some noise. And she's got to protect the house from it. Uh, I did order. And these are something you can get from Ho these are Hosa. Um, these are, if you can see or not, stereo 3.5 or 1 8th jack to XLR. So I can take this XLR, XLR splitter to two separate speakers or this to one speaker. And if I want to daisy chain, go from one speaker to another speaker with the output of the one speaker into the new speaker via XLR. And this is, you know, five feet, which is pretty decent. So one speaker can be close by if I'm just using one speaker. Uh, if I'm using two speakers, I either split off of this, go to two different speakers, or daisy chain. But I ordered this right here from Sweetwater, or two of them, as you can see. And, of course, is the box. Kind of a plain Jane box. A thank you from Sweetwater, as always. Um, they have a little pamphlet here talking about their stuff, the packing, uh, how they do stuff. A uh, little letter from the president, CEO of Sweetwater there. And, you know, they have a little guide inside with information. And, of course, the Sweetwater sticker, always a good thing to have. Uh, they talk about, you know, how they do stuff, support, and so forth. So it is a nice thing to have. Um, let me move this. Move this down. That's got to go to recycling. And then this right here is the box. This is how they sit on the shelf there. Uh, their warehouse at Sweetwater, uh, they built a new warehouse a year ago, a year and a half ago. And it is just absolutely huge. So they have more product. And... Uh, they also started carrying RCF, which I'm a big fan for. So when I need my RCF fix filled, I will do that. So this is the shipping box from the manufacturer. And then you have your retail sleeve. This is if you walked into a retail store, hung up, they can hang it. Again, this is not an expensive unit. This is, you know, hundred dollar unit. You know, it comes with Serato light, but I use Virtual DJ, Virtual DJ Pro. Uh, I like Virtual DJ. Uh, Sarah record box, uh, not record box, with uh, with DJ Red, which is uh, the pre predecessor to Virtual DJ. And this box right here. First unboxing, uh, very, very easy, simple. This unit, uh, I, already, and I already have the unit, so I already have the software, you know, the driver downloaded into my computers. Um, comes with USB to a micro USB. Uh, this right here, uh, I have a couple more of these, a couple extra, a little bit longer ones, great to have. Now, the owner's manual here, is great uh, very basic they have more information online and you have the unit itself now the other thing also that virtual DJ will do Serato does a little bit differently uh, but virtual DJ does have the option to make the lights in the bottom do things so you do have an option 
for that's what's called starlight. There's little LEDs back here to glow and do things. Uh, it was glow one side will glow red, one side will glow blue, so that way you know which side's left, right. But it's the same exact unit which I just showed you. I have right here. Again, I got a one just to have on my van uh, for those. Now I also got a I got dust and dirt over me. <laughs> I also got a case for this one because again, this is going to go into the van. Um, got a couple of these plugs that are going to go with it. And this right here is really, it's a nice little controller. You have a headphone on one side, master on the other. Uh, I, I beat match with this. You have nice um, flowing um, knobs on here. You have great, you know, your crossfader is nice and easy. Your pitches flow nicely. Um, I will say, you know, it's a $99 unit. It's not the world's most expensive unit. Again, is it on par to the XZ or Pioneer equipment? No, but having this as a, uh, for cocktail or a backup of a backup of a backup, it's great. It's a great, great unit. Uh, I definitely would recommend it. Uh, it. The only drawbacks is, yeah, it doesn't have all the, pitch control, yet you may want to slide back and forth as much. You can always adjust pitch control in Virtual DJ, how much. Um, it doesn't, you know, you have your gear pick stems or you have four uh, of your marks on your music. Uh, you, you could do, you know, two, it's only got two sides. You can't do four or eight. Uh, you don't have, your individual volume controls here and here, and you have a bass and filter. It's not a three band EQ. It's not all the fun stuff um, like the um, XZ or SX2 or any other nicer controllers. Again, very compact, very basic. This is designed to plug into a laptop and to do a basic, 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 basic uh, stuff. And again, doing cocktail hour, doing some basic mixing, blending, um, having flow. Uh, even doing a ceremony with this, this is, would be, you plug this into a, uh, a, a tablet or a, uh, a, a very small uh, computer that's running virtual DJ and have some music on there for a ceremony. You could very easily do that. Because it's powered by the PC, you're using the PC's battery, so you could be battery. If you plug this into, let's say, a Maui 5 Go like I have or one of the other battery-powered units, you can plug this in there, again, via headphone jack to XLR into the unit. And then you can have your microphones plugged into um, the unit as well and then mix in, which is, uh, you know, great. It doesn't have any in other inputs other than USB. Uh, so you can't have RCA, like, use this as your mixer for audio like I can plug in microphones and so forth and so on. So if you're going to use this with microphones, you would need a separate mixer either on the speaker itself or a separate little one. And I have, and I use it all the time, uh, which I like a lot, uh, I have the Allen Heath small little six channel. And I also picked up a little Yamaha, uh, this is for inside here, uh, for the studio. A uh, little Yamaha uh, A606, that's USB uh, powered and USB um, controlled unit. So that's something that I definitely would say it's pretty cool. Now, the other thing, let me pause this for one second and move some stuff. All right, just want to move the controller out of the way. This is the case that was sent to me for the Starlight. And again, uh, Sweetwater, always packing, always giving you the thank you uh, thank you note. They always do that, which is gratefully accepted. Uh, packing like work. Uh, there's companies that do packing 
and this is way, way, way better than a lot of manufacturers. And uh, wow, I got uh, three bags of candy, man, and. Bonus catalog, Pro Gear Select. Always go to uh, always go go to Sweetwater's website. Tons of stuff on there, and if you don't see something, call, ask. Their techs are great. Uh, their salespeople are very knowledgeable. A lot of them are musicians and DJs. So make sure that you ask and talk to them, but. My favorite guy in the world is going to be Christian Good. I'm going to definitely say, if you're looking, there's four bags of candy here, folks. <laughs> Make a fat man happy. Uh, <laughs> and again, this is a soft case to carry the controller. Um, I asked him for one. This is a Gator case. Uh, I like Gator cases. I, t I gave him some parameters I wanted. And I have a lot of things from Gator. This is probably way, way bigger than the controller. But i much rather have a bigger controller, have a little bit of room. You know, it could fit just in the front up here. But i much rather have that extra room to put extra parts in here. And then Gator cases, what, what can I say? You know, Gator, their cases are really robust. I have them for my TVs. I have them for um, other things, for a couple of mix, uh, mixers, and their products are really, really nice. And that's the one nice thing. This will hold a much, much bigger controller than what that is. But I much rather have, again have a little more room in here. Uh, that way I can put some more stuff in there. And I could, I could put a laptop in here, controller up here. You know, you can put a nice, uh, good sized laptop in here, um, controller in here, power, everything in one bag. This one bag and a speaker. If you have like the uh, uh, EV little uh, battery operated uh, speaker or the Bose speaker or Maui 5, you're doing, with, you know, basically the uh, two bags uh, one bag for this, one bag for the top half of Maui 5. Uh, and the, the bottom is the uh, subwoofer in its case and you're doing with basically three items to carry or two items to carry that you can go to somewhere and you do it battery operated so this right here again this is the uh, GK 2110 from Gator and like for Gator has really great cases and I can't wait to put this together and have some fun with it. So, yeah, that is just, you know, an awesome set, an awesome build up of everything. And the nice thing is that I'll have my controller protected. Uh, I could put in uh, those adapters in there. I put in, I could put in 25 feet XLR cable in there or two. So I can put a couple things in there and have it in there ready to go, or two 10-foot XLR cables. You know, just, again, this is more or less for cocktail setup. This laptop has a speaker. You know, nothing crazy or two speakers. If I've got, you know, a lot of people. Uh, I, I've used this before, uh, that controller, uh, a couple times again last year, since I got it, a couple times this year already since I got it. Uh, and for a very simple, nice, basic controller, I would definitely would say if you're looking for something compact that does actually pretty good sound, um, and if you ever want to watch me DJ here on Twitch, or on, you know, I don't DJ on YouTube, but on Twitch, and you want to watch that, go to my Twitch channel, TV Productions, underscore buddy, Follow the channel there. And I use that controller. Now, again, I have used that controller for a while. And that's why I bought a second one. One 
very compact, which I'm looking for that for cocktail hours, so I'm not taking a big space up. And two, it's not very expensive. It's it, it's pretty cheap controller that works really, really well. I will say Hercules, uh, they did a right job with that. They did a really good job with it. Uh, again, quality, it's decent quality. It's not Pioneer level. It's not Rain level. Um, it's not Denon level. But for Her and Hercules has been making controllers for quite a while. So it's not like they're a new company. Are they the most highest end company? Well, again, no. But the thing is that, do they have good quality? Yes. I will say the quality of the product and dealing with the Starlight for over a year, uh, I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. And I would probably rate it uh, between 1 and 10. I'd probably rate it like a, a you know, 8.5. You know, and the reason why I'm not rating it up higher is because, again, it is lacking a few things. But, again, it's compact. It's small. For what it is, it's a really good controller. And if you're looking for a good controller, you're looking for something that is compact, small, and has good sound, put it on your list. Get one of these. Go right now. Buy one. Have it. You'll be amazed with it. You could... You could do a wedding with that and connect it to a regular mixer, you know, be a six channel or ten channel mixer and have the audio out of that into your mixer and have a good night. Now again, it's small, compact, so you don't get all the nice cool cool things. Uh, you, you don't see everything on there like you do with uh, so, a lot of bigger controllers with LCD panels uh, and screens and so forth. But for what it is, you can't go wrong with it. So, other than that, <laughs> uh, this is a long one for uh, a review and uh, a unboxing, but it's also something that I can say I've used and I can give it a rating. And yeah, I'll probably put. Uh, I, I have a couple of pictures. I'll probably put those into into the video so you guys can see the pictures right at the end of it actually in the field being used. And uh, we'll go from there. Other than that, guys, again, click that like button. Smash that follow button, subscribe button here on YouTube. Follow me over on Twitch at TBM Productions underscore buddy. Questions, critiques, criticism, comments, tomfoolery, please put it down below. As always, look forward to hearing it down there and reading everything down there, comments. But love the thumbs and love... And also, do me a favor, if you're subscribed to the channel, tell a friend. Tell them about the channel. Tell them about everything. Tell them about the DJ Roundtable. Another great thing to watch for. Other than that, hopefully you enjoy yourselves. I appreciate it, and thank you so much.